Hey guys, I think I'm live. Um, let me know if you can hear me and see me. Um, hopping on one of these lives is sometimes like a like a Russian roulette. Like maybe I'm streaming live, maybe I'm not. Because I don't want to just teach to nobody. I'm going to make sure that I'm live. Okay. Feet are near. <laughs> if you can see me, uh, comment and say hello. Um, this is kind of an unplanned thing. Um, I know I used to do Wellness Wednesdays. And um, that's something that I want to make sure I can keep. Because this, this is our busy season. This is when... Um, people are turning to oils, asking lots of questions about oils. Um, you know, we're back home from summer vacation, kids are in school, and we're starting to get maybe some health issues. So whether that's like seasonal issues, like allergies, um, where I am, we're actually in hurricane season. So there's a lot of mold, um, a lot of respiratory issues because it's so humid and wet and rainy and moldy. Um, but it's also back to school. So our kids are bringing home all these lovely germs. Um, there's lots of scares for you know, head critters. Um, lots of fun things. So um, I wanted to make sure that we kind of get our Wellness Wednesday routine going back. Um, and today is going to be fun. Today we're going to talk about um, we're going to talk about fragrances. We're going to talk about why we want to use our diffuser and why we want to mix the um, spiced candles, the room sprays, the Glade plugins, we want to get rid of all of that. So I'm going to share with you guys, um, let's see, oh you're going to see my Facebook, hello, I'm going to go over here, let's see, I'm going to show you guys this fascinating article. Okay, can you see this? This looks so crazy. <laughs> We're doing our best here, guys. Um, so, this is talking about fragrance being the new secondhand smoke. And the reason that this is important, um, this is an article that is um, talking about toxic scents, so we're talking about things that are um, in just like in cleaning products, things that are in our candles, things that are in um, all the fall scented everything. So, you know, this is talking about the scented candle that won't go away. You smell it and you get a headache. Um, the mist that never disappears. Um, just all kinds of gross stuff. Um, so studies have been shown that this artificial fragrance, this is actually secondhand smoke. It's like as detrimental to our bodies as secondhand smoke. It's not just, oh, you're annoying, great aunt, Ethel has a really terribly strong perfume. Like, no, this is hazardous. Um, we don't want that. Um, so we don't want synthetic fragrances. They're actually hazardous to our health. Um, this fragrances, you know, it's one of these things where fragrances and perfumes I think came from our natural sense obviously plants and essential oils and things like that but um, they kind of went crazy and um, people started making synthetic and those are the things that are um, hurting our health so I just thought this was a helpful little image and I wanted y'all to see it the idea of how to find artificial fragrance in your home um, not only are these fragrances harming our lungs giving us headaches, but the headache is also alerting us that that's a neurological issue. Um, so artificial fragrances are affecting our nervous system, they're affecting our respiratory system, and they're actually affecting our endocrine system. Um, they're endocrine disruptors, and what that means is hormone disruptors. So hormone issues are rampant right now. Um, just this this lifestyle that most of us Americans live, our hormones are out of whack um, just due to chemicals and due to lifestyle and things like that. So, yeah, we don't need extra fragrances messing us up. So I love this little cheat sheet. Scented candles are where we can find artificial fragrances. Dryer sheets, which, by the way, if you have dryer sheets, 
let me just let me be the person to say, please mix those. Um, those are huge cancer causing um, chemical no nos. We do not want those who can use dryer balls, some sort of essential oils, or even just nothing like anything <laughs> but dryer sheets. Um, these air fresheners, artificial potpourri, fragrance sprays, you know, those misting rooms, perfume, and then guys, scented hand and body wash. Those like, oh, lavender lotion. Guys, that is not lavender. That is artificial fragrance, these chemicals. Um, it's actually hurting me. Even if it's a natural, um, safe, if it is not essential oil, it's artificial fragrance. And so even if you're buying a pure, natural, whatever Whole Foods brand body lotion or body wash, um, and it's scented, I hate to bring it to you, but that is probably um, a chemical scent. So you're still putting chemicals on your body even though you've bought this organic whatever cleanser. So um, that is a really good cheat sheet on kind of why you want to avoid those. Um, I won't harp on those. I won't harp on this one, but you can see synthetic scents. Dangers include cancer, asthma, kidney damage, and more. There's a whole link to this article, and I can send it to you, or I can post it here um, below if that's helpful to y'all. I won't harp on this too more because I know it's um, a lot, but um, take a look at that, and then hop over here because I want to share with you ways that you can um, use essential oils to the wonderful fragrances. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. I'll be up there in just a second. I'll be up there in just a second, okay? So this is where essential oils come in. We can use essential oils to replace these toxic scents. And the bonus is not only are these safe and non-toxic, but these are therapeutic ways to integrate essential oils into our health. So um, we know the three ways to use essential oils are topically, internally, and aromatically. And this is the aromatic way we're going to use our oils. So not only are we going to make our room smell like fall and delicious and wonderful, but we're going to get some added health benefits. And so I wanted to talk to you about some of my favorite blends and um, the two ways that we benefit from using essential oils when they're diffused is respiratory or respiratory system benefits. So any oils that are supportive for opening up the airways, um, helping us to breathe, um, you're gonna wanna diffuse them, it's gonna be awesome. Um, and then any emotional support that you're looking for is going to be um, really helpful when you diffuse your oils. So every essential oil has an emotional component and emotions and essential oils is something that I'm um, planning to talk about here later this month also. It's one of our kits is on sale that I want to share with you um, later on. But all of the essential oils have an emotional component. And if you don't already have this book, this book is amazing. Here, I'm going to show it to you bigger. This book is amazing, Emotions and Essential Oils. It is so incredible. I bought it really soon after I started my essential oil journey. But... It has a section of all the single oils and then a section of the blends. And it gives a little blurb about each oil, the, um, the negative emotions that you can kind of work to shift, and then the positive, I guess, properties that you can um, elicit and kind of grow with that oil. So it's a really amazing book, and I'm going to kind of refer to it as we're kind of going through um, some of these really awesome blends. <laughs> These are my kids um, getting ready for bed. It's just, it's, you know, it's happening. Um, I want to show you guys, um, let's see, I'm going to show you guys some amazing fall blends. Okay, so uh, apple pie. I don't know if you can see this, but we're going to talk about... Um, Oh, hey, Mom. I just saw that you're on there. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Um, apple pie. Okay, so apple pie, You, I love that they're giving us the exact amount. They're giving us this many drops and this many drops, and they're talking about our pedal diffuser, which if you don't have the pedal diffuser, this is our pedal diffuser. It comes with our Home Essentials. And, uh, Home Essentials Kit it comes with the um, 
this is a couple other kits, but it's amazing. Um, I run it almost daily. And so they're referring to this one. So this is showing us three drops of Douglas fir, two drops of cinnamon bark, three drops of citrus bliss will give you that kind of scent. So I love that there's kind of this, um, all these various fall candle-ish options, except oils, so that we're getting all the benefits. So um, I'd love if you would comment your favorite one. I'm going to kind of just pick out some of my faves. Um, so ginger, cassia, and clove. So cassia is a cinnamon, and um, cassia emotionally is an oil of self-acceptance, self-assurance, helps you feel courageous, unashamed, confident, valuable, authentic. Ginger is the oil of empowerment, and clove is the oil, I think it's of boundaries. Let me double check in my little book here. Yeah, it's the oil of boundaries. So I love that Ginger Snap Cookie is like an emotionally, I want to say brazen, but that sounds negative. I don't mean it in a negative way, but it's a very um, bold and empowering um, scent. And ginger also therapeutically is really calming for the digestive system. Um, clove and cassia are really great for the immune system. So you can tell, like, you're not just going to be getting a pretty scent. Um, so I love all these different ideas. I'm going to show you a couple others. Um, so this was a couple of years ago. If you are already a doTERRA member, there's a doTERRA living magazine that they put out. Uh, I think it's quarterly and they always have amazing things like this, but I love this idea of autumn meadows. Again, that's a Douglas fir. And if you aren't sure about the firs and any of the tree blends, the tree blend, the tree oils like Siberian fir, Douglas fir, um, cypress, any of those, those are going to be really supportive for the respiratory system. They're also going to be very cleansing. So again, Using essential oils to diffuse, scenting your air safely, helping you emotionally and with your respiratory um, health, but then also cleansing the air. So Douglas fir is a really good um, air purifier. So it's actually cleaning, it's physically, molecularly cleaning the air. Um, so I love that here we've got some trees. We've got the Douglas fir, the cypress, patchouli. Um, oddly enough, is an oil that I did not love. My husband um, asked for this. I thought, oh, truly, it's going to be really hippie smelling. It's very earthy. Um, and emotionally, it's the oil of um, kind of feeling present in your physical body. Cypress is emotionally the oil of flow. And, oh, I don't need Douglas fir. Here, I'm going to refer. Douglas fir is the oil of generational wisdom, and juniper berry is the oil of fear. So this would be amazing um, to do in the evenings, maybe getting ready for bedtime. Um, I think that could be really awesome. Um, we can talk about this. I love pumpkin spice. Are you, if you are a pumpkin spice person like me, then you've already had your eye on these. Um, I think I posted something about this earlier this week, that um, cardamom, is one of our oils that is, um, oh, it's not down here, I moved it. Okay, cardamom is the oil that is 10% off this month. And cardamom's amazing. Cardamom is great for digestive support. It's also great for respiratory support, but it's gentler than like a peppermint would be for those things. So a lot of people who have babies or small children, cardamom is a really great alternative. Um, and cardamom, I mean, it's so chai spicy and yummy. So, um, you can make your own pumpkin spice diffuser blend with cardamom, with clove, ginger, and cinnamon. Um, uh, like I can already smell it now. It sounds amazing. Um, love this idea too of orange cinnamon. There's cardamom again. Cardamom is the oil of objectivity. And I remember learning about this oil several months ago. Um, I think we had it in a BOGO. And um, it talked about, like, it helps us move from feeling inebriated by anger, easily frustrated, objectifying others, blaming others, to feeling objective, self-controlled, respectful, tolerant, and patient. And I was like, whoa, I don't know a single mother who doesn't need that. Um, 
I get so when my kids throw fits and have tantrums, it's easy to get sucked into that. And so cardamom is an oil that I want diffusing on the regular because that really kind of just helps pull you out of that place and kind of be able to get a big picture view. So cardamom's really powerful. Definitely, definitely snag it up for um, 10% off this month. Um, cinnamon. So cinnamon emotionally is the oil of sexual harmony, meaning um, from feeling jealous, controlling, fearful, or like you don't like your body. It brings you to feel body acceptance, attractive, accepted. Um, so that, I mean, those are really positive things for your home. Um, wild orange is the oil of abundance. So instead of feeling scarcity and lack, you feel abundant. And um, uh, so I just, these combinations are amazing. Um, I love this idea, Evening by the Fire. Again, we have Douglas fir, frankincense. Frankincense, love frankincense, the oil of truth. Um, also, oops, I lost it. Where'd you go? There we go. Oil of frankincense is the oil of truth. Um, sandalwood. I'm going to get out my book, you guys, because I don't know all of these by heart yet. But sandalwood is a really great healing oil, but emotionally, it's known as the oil of sacred devotion. So this is saying that it helps you feel, if you're feeling disconnected from God, feeling empty, overthinking, maybe even materialistic, it can bring you to feeling humble, um, devoted spiritually, it gives you spiritual clarity, stillness, surrender, and um, connection to your higher consciousness. So that's really, that's really amazing. And then lavender is calming, wild wind is calming, I love those. So, these are just some really great ideas. I hope you will check these out. Um, I love that. Look at that chai. That looks so amazing. So I love all of these different... I'm just going to scroll through some of these really quickly. But you can kind of see that there is a recurring theme of cinnamon, wild orange, cardamom, clove, ginger. These are oils that you want this fall. Um, some of the treat oils like white fir, cypress, um, sandalwood. These are all going to be replacing those nasty chemical candles. So um, I wanted to just remind you about cardamom. Again, it's the oil that's 10% off this month. Um, you can also cook with this. I have made um, like an herbal rooibos tea and put cardamom and an almond milk, and kind of tried to make it a chai that way, and that's amazing. Oh, no, out now. No, 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 no. Anyway. I got that. Let's see now. Anyway, um, these are kind of the deals that are happening. If you aren't already aware, Lime is the free oil of the month. Cardamom is 10% off. And then there are several kits that are also um, on 20% off, which is crazy time. So if you are wanting to purify the air, maybe find yourself a little mental objectivity like I could probably use right now as my children are supposed to be getting dressed for bed and are running around wild and naked, <sighs> um, you're going to want some of these amazing oils. So purify your air, reduce chemicals, support your emotions and your respiratory system, and get 20% off with so many of these starter kits. So um, comment or reach out to me if you want help, if you want support. If you'd like to get started with essential oils, I'd love to walk you through and kind of mentor you and teach you. Um, we have a private education group. This is my public group. This is kind of my open for anybody public oil education group. We have a private education group where we teach regular classes. And we have a resource library, and there's just nonstop support. So love to get you plugged in. Love to get you our 25% off. Um, oils. So reach out to me if you're interested. If you have any questions, um, let me know. Thanks, guys.